Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. My name is Samantha Garrett and I'm one of the product specialists here from Pegasus Software and over the next 10 minutes I'm going to take you through a short demonstration of one of our business intelligence tools called XRL available for Opera 3, CIS and Operations 2. XRL is an Excel add-in extraction tool which provides an easy and effective way of extracting your meaningful information directly from your live data held within your Opera 3 system. It allows us to retrieve, view, analyze and further manipulate what could often be complex business reports in a familiar spreadsheet environment. So let's get started. Once XRL is installed, it will appear as an additional menu within your Excel add-ins tab within the ribbon bar. I haven't yet logged into XRL, so I have a restricted menu. So users do need to log in with an Opera 3 user ID and password, which will determine the information that they have access to. So let's log in. I'm going to log in as manager for today. And if we take a look back at the menu now, we'll see we have a more extensive list of functions that are available to us. As we don't have too much time in the session, we're going to build up a few example reports. And then we're also going to look at some pre-designed report packs to give you an idea of the sorts of reports that you could be creating. So for our first example, I'm going to show you how easy it is to firstly extract data from your Opera 3 system. We're going to link two reports together, creating a very dynamic and usable report. We're going to introduce some filtering, and then we're also going to introduce some intuitive utilities. So to start off with, I'm going to enter in a customer account code into this cell here. ADA001. And what we're going to do, we're going to say that we'd like to pull out perhaps the address and contact information relating to that customer. So we're going to go into XRL and we're going to pick up a reference link. The report box that has been loaded for us here will be consistent across most of the reporting functions available through XRL, which provides ease of use and learning. The first thing I need to do is tell it which product I'm extracting from. I'm currently extracting from Opera 3. XRL also links into CIS, our contract costing solution, and Operations 2, our manufacturing product. I'm currently extracting from Company Z, which is Orion Vehicles Leasing. And all I need to do is double click into the table and tell it which table is it that I'd like to extract some data from. Now I'd like to pull out some sales account and contact information, so I'm very simply going to go into the table, sales accounts. Now down in the selection list, you can see that I've got access to all of the fields that I might want to pull out. So I'm very simply going to choose a few. I'm going to take the customer's name, perhaps a few lines of the address. I can either double click or I can drag the field across into the output box, the postcode, the telephone number, and the account contact. Now before I say OK, I want to actually filter on account. So I'm going to drag the account code up into the filters box and say whichever customer's account code is sat in that cell there, I'd like to filter on. Now I'm going to do one more thing before I say OK. I'm actually going to tell it where I want this information to appear on my spreadsheet. So I'm very simply going to map the information onto my spreadsheet. So coming down the rows, and once we've done this once, we don't need to do it again. So we'll pop the telephone number there and the account contact there. Let's say OK. Now we can see it's gone into the tables of Opera 3. It's pulled out the address information, the telephone number, and the account contact. So if I very quickly change the customer account code to BRI0002, right click, and recalculate worksheet, we can see that it's updated that information. Now let's take that one step further. Let's say that we'd like to link it to another report, but we'd like to pull out that customer's sales transactions. So we're gonna go into XRL, detailed report, but this time, instead of going into the table sales accounts, we're going to go into sales transactions. So we'll take a few fields here. We'll take the date, perhaps the reference, the type, the value, the VAT value, and the balance. But again, I want to filter on account. So whichever customer's account code is sat in that cell there. Let's say OK. 
So now if we go back and change the account code to ADA001, right click and recalculate worksheet, we can see that it's updated both of those reports. So let's take this one step further and we'll make it a little bit more user friendly. So instead of having to remember the customer's account codes off the top of my head, I'm going to create a data selector. So we're going to go into XRL Utilities Data Selector. Now I'm actually going to use a predefined report that I've created which shows a list of my customer account codes. And I'm going to say the account codes is entered into the first column. Where would I like this data selector to sit? Well, I'll say just towards the left of my account code. We'll click Add, close it away. Now we can see we've got a nice user-friendly data selector, which is pulling up a list of all of my customers' accounts, so I could choose a different customer, right-click, recalculate worksheet, and there we can see, again, it's updating both of those reports for us. Now, there's a few different ways that I could ask this report to automatically refresh. Firstly, I could create a nice refresh button or I could ask this data selector here to automatically refresh for me. So let's go back into our data selector options and I'm going to ask it to please recalculate my worksheet for me automatically, click update, close it away. Now if we go back and choose a different customer, we'll see that the report automatically refreshes as soon as we choose a different customer's account. For our next example, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful tools available within XRL, which is called Cube Analysis. We can use Cube Analysis to slice and dice our data and also drill down into underlying information. So we're going to go into XRL Cube Analysis. And the table I'm going to choose to pull out some information from is going to be my sales history table. So I'm only going to take a few fields to analyse. I'm going to take the account. So which customers are we selling to? I'm going to take the date, so when are we selling? We'll take the region, so where are we selling? The territory, so I can see how my sales guys are performing. I'll also take the value, and we'll scroll down a little bit, and I'll also take the stock reference, so we can see what our customers have been buying. Now, because we're using cube analysis, we can very quickly start to restrict our data. So I might want to perhaps split the date by year and month, and I'll hit Populate Cube. Now that's currently showing me the total value for my sales history table. And now I can very quickly start to drag and drop the fields that I've pulled out onto my cube. So I might say, let's see what regions we're selling into. So I'll drag the region down across the top. Perhaps we've got some seasonal or monthly trends going on. So I'll drag the month down towards the left-hand side. We can very quickly highlight an area of the cube, we can click on charts, and I can see we had a good month in July, so I might want to drill down into perhaps either a summary view or down into the transactions. Now we haven't introduced the year, so perhaps I might want to bring the year down towards the left hand side, I might swap it around so I could expand out the years and we can have a look at maybe 2007 or perhaps 2008. Or perhaps I'd like to take the year out and say, well, I'm only interested in looking at 2009 or I might want to very simply pick and choose which is data I want to view. Now I'm going to leave the filter off so we've got lots of information to play with. Okay so I might say that's not showing me what I want to see so let's drag the month back out to the top and the region and we'll start again. So let's see what my sales guys have been up to. Let's bring the territory down across the top. Let's see which accounts they've been selling into. So we'll bring our customers down towards the left-hand side. Let me see what stock items they've been buying. So we can expand out the pluses so we can see what stock items each of my customers have been buying. So as you can see, it's easy to use, it's user-friendly, and it also includes the ability to drill down into summary or to transaction level. Now we're coming towards the end of the presentation, so I've got a few example report packs that I'd like to show you. Firstly, I'm going to open up a management report pack. This is just an example report that will give you an idea of the types of reports that you could be creating. What you can see here, we've got a few data selectors, so we can very easily choose the filters, so perhaps the period from and to. We saw how easy it was earlier on to create some data selectors. And then we've got some different reports across different sheets within the workbook. So perhaps I might want to identify my current period as period 9. 
and perhaps we'll have a look at the balance sheet. This is a typical balance sheet, which is summarising information together pulled out from our nominal ledger. And again, because we're using XRL, we can very easily drill down into underlying data. So what are the reports that we got? Well, if we go back to the menu, we might want to have a look at perhaps the profit and loss. We can see automatically that the information updated there. I've got one more report pack to show you, which is a commercial report pack. Again, very similar to the management report pack. We've got a few different reports which are linked together across different worksheets. So I might want to perhaps have a look at my customer order history. Now this is grouped together by customer, so I can very easily expand out the pluses so I can see what my customers have been buying. And I might want to say, okay, let me see which orders have gone on the system today. So I might want to add on a date filter. So I can double click to go back into the report details. I'm going to find the date field, drag it up into the filter box, and I might add in today's date, say okay, there it automatically updates the report and we can expand out the pluses and we can see that we've had a few orders that have gone on the system today for Adams Light Engineering and Abington Hire. If we go back to the menu, you'll also notice that I've got a stock adjustment here. So as well as just extracting data from Opera 3, XRL also gives the ability to write data back from Excel into Opera 3. It also allows us to do budget write backs. Now that's a very small flavour of what the power of XRL can do. And as you can see, it significantly saves time over manual entry, provides up-to-date accurate data, which is direct from your Opera 3 system, which provides quick results and instant management information so that key decisions can be made. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. For further information, please contact a Pegasus partner or visit pegasus.co.uk.